college radio campaigns and street teams in multiple cities. <laughs> to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop and R&B. K100, you bastards! And we are back. <laughs> K100 Radio again. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks about it for tuning in to the show. 347-934-0966. All right. I'm excited about our next guest over here at K100 Radio, man. We're getting ready to bring the homie, man, the industry vet, the OG, man, Rough Ride himself. The homie Drag On is in the building. Drag On, what's going on, bro? <laughs> Yeah, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Man, welcome to the broadcast, man. I really appreciate you uh, uh, taking a moment, man, to chop it up with us over here at K100 Radio, man. Um, you know, I, I'm going I'm to give you the floor real quick, man, and just, you know, just go ahead and, man, just tell the people what you want to know, man. I don't think you really need no real introduction, you feel me? But I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up for you right now, bro, and go ahead and tell them who you is, dog. I know they know, but go ahead and just give them the rundown real quick. Yeah, yo, this your boy Drag to the Dash on. Where you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, like y'all might know me from the Rough Riders. Y'all might know me as DMX little brother. Working, I played an exit wound and cradle to the grave. And but look, I started my own record label, it was called Hood Environment. You know what I mean? You know, I definitely need everybody to log on to hoodenvironment.com and and hear them real bars spelled with a Z. You know what I mean? Listen, we going in, nothing but videos, live freestyles. Yeah, we logged on. Look, everybody can follow me on Instagram, drag underscore on one. So that way you really know it's me. Let's get it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, you know, man, I got I got so many questions. I know we only got 30 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. You dig? Right now. Let's get it. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, Hip Hop yeah. and R&B. First thing is, man, um... You know, you you you've you've been on world tours. You've been you've performed with some of the best and biggest names. Featured with them. Been in the studio with them. You was a part of an uh, 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 an epic movement in hip hop. You know what I'm saying with with the Rough Riders. And, and you got a a story, a long story career, man. Now, how, how compared to let's say around about your career around about 2000, as opposed to now, where you're up under you you, you got a lot of fanfare. You know, you you're doing big things. You're doing movies and everything, man. You feel me? But you're under a record label. You're under an imprint to now where you are, where you're the boss and you're running the imprint and you, and you handle everything from the boss's perspective more so than just being an artist. Tell us about that transition, man. What was the one thing that you took from that era and you learned and was able to apply it to make you successful right now as a boss? Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I mean, you know, the transition, um, you know, from from turning um you know like from making myself into a sergeant now is um you know it's because i know how to do it you know what i say and to know how to do it like to know how to be a sergeant is to have once been a soldier like you know what i'm saying so you know uh, you know like when i was a soldier everybody know i marched in line um you know what i'm to say at rough riders i right. played my part i held it down um you know what i'm to say i definitely held my weight so, you know, like, that's just what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? So with me knowing the business now, um, you know, from me being a soldier, um, you know, and really being out there, um, you know, in war, you feel what I'm say? This is like a sport. This is like a war. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got to go in. I mean, you know, everybody is trying to win. You know what I'm saying? Each team is trying to win. So, uh, you know, with me going out there and working as a soldier, it made me have the knowledge to, um, you know, one day become the sergeant that I am now. Exactly. So what do you, what do you think would have been if, if if for instance it just it, it's kind of hypothetical, but what if for instance social media was popping back in the back in the era if we had Facebook and Instagram and the way and Twitter and all that. What what do you think would have would have been different about that era of music? You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it's I can only um, imagine we would have you know, been um you know like you know like we would have been how we is now. Uh -huh. You saw what I'm say because you know a lot of people don't like the internet. But if you know how to work it, then you'll be good. You know what I'm trying to say? Me, me personally, I love the internet. Um, you, know, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people that be saying, you know, they don't like the way the music business is now and the way the music is sounding and how these rappers be looking and be wearing dresses and coming out with bras <laughs> and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not into that part of it. Right. But I'm definitely into 
the new wave and how it's going with the internet and stuff like that because now it made the music business at its all time high. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, far as far as independency. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Far as the state of independency, it made the music business at its all time high as far as independency. You know what I'm saying? And if the music business had the internet before, um, you know, like we would have been doing what we're doing now, we would have been doing that then. We would have had more knowledge to know that, oh, hold on, you know what? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're signing to this record label because we know that they're gonna put us in front of ten million. Right, right. But right. hold on. Um, um, you know, when I log on to my Instagram, I got thirty million. Right. So, um, you know, it puts you it puts you more in power. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, you know, at the state of hip hop, uh, you know, I just feel as though, uh, you know, we would have been in more of power and made more money for the type of music that we was putting out before cuz we all know that music was like really about like you really had to be talented. It's not about just uh, you know, you put out a silly video and because right. you look so silly in it, um you know, everybody want to see you look silly. So now you got a bunch of views <laughs> fooling these record labels making them think, "Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got two four 60 million views. Yeah, he got 60 million views because the nigga just fell in the toilet, uh, you know, with a whole bunch of doodle in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it'd be some dumb shit like that. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just feel as though, uh, you know, us as the ones that are really talented, you know what I'm saying, you know, I feel as though we would have probably made more money than we did. I definitely, I, def- I definitely 100% uh, think that um, that would have happened. Uh, I would, I would, I would say that maybe the only, the only, not even really a positive, but the only plus to that era was there, there was a, a sort of a filter and there was less saturation because now any and every, I feel like nowadays any and everybody feel like they can just make a move and just come out, drop an album, drop a mixtape, boom, and just solidify themselves without having to go through the yeah. gambit, of, the, the, the gambit that you guys had to go through to actually get on those kind of platforms because no one would never hear of you if you didn't have a deal at some point. You feel me? You know, you had to have a certain, you know, you had to have some, some kind of deal going on for people to even know you existed. Whereas in the internet era, people can just 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 build up their own brand and say, hey, I, I'm the hottest out, and they can just claim that just just off top, and they can just come out and just get on Instagram and just say that. You know what I'm saying? So I think the filter that was in place, that, yeah, no that, doubt. That from, you, know, you, know, you know, they can get on their little social media, their right. Twitter, their Facebook, their Snapchat, and add all them numbers up. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, you know, if they didn't do no finagling and buying fake followers, and I'm saying, you know, the numbers ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I mean, you know, you know, it just puts the artists more in power. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like, like me, I love the independency of the game. You saw what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, I love the way the new game is. Like, you know what I'm saying? For real. Like, I like the fact of the idea that Meek Mills is signed to another great artist, which. Which, which is Rick Ross? You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like I like the fact that rappers are signing to rappers. Really, you, you know do. What I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, you know, versus versus signing to somebody that don't have that passion and that love mm-hmm. for music. They just have that passion for the business. It's just a little different. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I've, you know, um, I think I, 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 I definitely agree with you on the uh, the passion, and I also agree that. Um, it's it, it, it says something that when you know you're assigned to frankly, if you're a young black male and you and you got another uh, black male that's actually been through your struggle and know what it's like to live your life before money, before fame, who's walked a similar walk. You know what I'm saying? They can relate to your mind frame and some of the decisions that you may make, good or bad, on your grind. You feel what I'm saying? They can relate more to somebody, exactly. you know, somebody just sitting up in the office. You raised that that was raised, you know, you know, uh, totally different. They don't understand why you why you was at the club. And somebody got disrespectful, and you just you went ham. You feel me? They don't understand, but they they've been there. You know what I'm saying? They know what it's like to be able to uh, grow up in that jungle. You feel what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but 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 let me ask you this though: to that to that particular statement that you said, Drag, would you agree that we've seen a lot more labels that were ran by rappers fail than succeed? Would you say that is accurate? Yeah, um, you know, I can, I can definitely, uh, you know, I can definitely, I can, I, I, I can definitely have to agree with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but, but, um, you know, like those are the ones that, um, you know, you see, you see, like right now, um, you know, everybody want to be that nigga. 
Right. Like everybody want to be that dude. And what you're saying right now, it refers to what I was saying. That's why it's so important to what I was saying. Like you got to love being a soldier in order to be a real sergeant. You feel what I'm trying to say? Right. There's not enough soldiers. Everybody want to be a sergeant. Everybody's claiming CEO. They got their own record label and it's moving. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, I, uh, you know, like me, with Fars with the Hood Environment. You feel what I'm trying to say? This is something that I started from when I was with Rough Riders back in 06, 07. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, this is off of experience and I have fun being a soldier. Y'all, the people, the world watch me be a soldier for years. Right. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, a lot of these record labels that's being ran by these artists be new artists that never was even soldiers. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. That don't really, you know what I'm saying? You know, know the game. See, Rockefeller was ran by a rapper that was a soldier. Like, he was battling a lot of rappers. You know, he put out albums. He learned the game. We watched Jay-Z grow. You feel what I'm to say? Right. And then start Rockefeller. Then start his clothing line. You know what I'm saying? He... He built it. You found out say he didn't just jump into that. Nah, he'd been around in this game longer than me. Like he'd been in this game for a minute to build it. So you know, like that's why his record label was successful. You found out say, like you gotta know, like you gotta build, you gotta grind your joint. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, or, you know, like get your buzz up. Um, you know, like a lot of these rappers are, you know, they just go off of their Instagram and now they just think they're a sergeant. Right. Nah. Because everybody want to be a boss. Everybody want to be a sergeant, but don't know nothing what it takes to even be a soldier. Never even been a soldier before. Like, that's why it comes down to that. And I'm saying, like, that's why, you know, when I first started this interview, that's why I started out with that. Because that plays a part throughout this game. Exactly. Exactly. Good answers, bro. I appreciate that. (laughs) And and, and just to put everything in perspective, you know what I'm saying? You know, because because you're going to have, there is no scenario in life, bro, there's not that you can't find uh, 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 an opposite answer. You know, there's going to be good and bad everything for every for every Rick Ross that you got who's really running their label that kind of way. You're gonna have you're gonna have a Birdman. Mm-hmm. You're, gonna, you're gonna have a Birdman. You feel me? You're gonna have somebody who's getting his reputation for you know what I'm saying, not really wanting to pay the artists and all this other kind of stuff. Whether how much of that is true or mm-hmm. whatever, but just that's in the air right now. You feel me? That 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 that's that's been put out in the air by multiple people. So you know whether you believe it or not, you know so sometimes where there's uh, smoke, there's fire. Majority of the time, you feel what I'm saying? On that mm-hmm. note, you feel me? Yep. But you know we'll we'll move on from that. You know what I'm saying? All right. K100 yeah, yeah. Radio. You know what I'm saying? K100 Radio. Uh, we're live right now with the homie Drag on. Yeah. Now, uh, you, uh, you guys got a, uh, I saw that you guys got a, a, a Rough Riders reunion tour coming up. Am I correct about that? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, we already did the Barclays Center, um, you know, uh, you know, in Brooklyn, New York. We already did the Foxwoods in Connecticut. Um, you know, the next show was August 3rd in Atlantic City. You know what I'm saying? You know, we moving, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, Live Nation, um, you know, decided to, um, you know, do a Rough Rider reunion tour. Uh-huh. So, you know, we on there tearing them up. You know That's what I'm saying? Up. For real. You know, everybody can log on my Instagram and see my performance that I did at the Barclays Center and the Foxwoods. And you'll see that I don't play with them when I step on that stage, boy. Hey. I don't play. Absolutely. I step on that stage with that energy. You feel me? Yo, you know what, man? I, I think that's one thing I noticed. Like, uh, and we're getting ready to jump into the music, man. And uh, for my Facebook people, if you're on Facebook, if you're on my Facebook Live right now on K100 Radio on the K100 Radio page, we're gonna be able to see some of these videos. We're gonna run the videos. Uh, if you're on, the, if you're listening on Instagram or if you're listening on the broadcast, you guys will be able to hear the songs. Uh, but if you um, if you're on the uh, Facebook Live, you'll be able to actually see the visual that we got uh, from the homie Dragon. At least one of them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know we got two visuals. Yeah, we got two visuals. So we got one of the songs, the main ones that he's pushing right now. We're getting ready to jump at that in a minute. Uh, but I, I, that's what I noticed. Like when um, I noticed that you, you, as far as just your hunger, bruh, it, I, every time you rap, like every time I, I watch your freestyles and I watch all your YouTube videos and stuff, and when you be dropping them, and I swear, bro, it's like you having your passion level is still like two thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like when you jump on there, it's like you know, uh, it, it, it's like it's like you still going in, like bro, you know. 
a lot of artists, I guess, man, you know, from that era, you know, if, if they are still even rapping, if they still rap still for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, they just, you know, mm-hmm. some of them are rapping because they, it feels like they rapping because, you know, they, they got bills and they got to stay relevant and, they, you know, they, they got the pressure of just who they are. Whereas when I look at yours and hear yours, it feels like, nah, I'm just drag. I just love to go in here and merc shit in the booth. You know what I'm saying? You know, that, that, yeah, it still no sounds. Doubt. I mean, it you know, sounds like that. You, you know? know, like, 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 like that passion is still there. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what I want everybody to understand. Like, I never left the game. I had to get my paperwork straight. You saw what I'm saying? Right. My paperwork at Rough Riders was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real. So, yeah. um, you know, I was dropping albums. Of you know, like they had me dropping albums every three or four years. And don't get it twisted. They still the family. We still family. New word. And I'm seeing no business is business though. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's different. So, you know, or, you know, my business wasn't correct. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And it wasn't like 100% them. It was like 25% me. And I say 75% them. Because me, I was only 17. So I can't put too much blame with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I was a young little kid, little baby out here in the sea full of sharks like you know what i'm saying so i mean you know i did the best i can i feel as though i did the best that i could do at that age for not knowing nothing right you know what i'm saying all i know is how to write you know what i'm saying right so um um oh, you know like that's just what that is like you know what i'm saying You're right exactly well you know i i, I you know just let, let me let me just say something about that i, I I'm, I'm getting to the music now i'm getting to the music but i gotta say something about that because it's it's the, the the paperwork and and we're now in the in the age of the internet where all the information is out there. But yet you'll still yes sir you'll still have artists in 2017, which is just, it's just weird to me that even now in 2017 artists are still right now signing ridiculous deals. You know what I'm saying? Like still giving away all their publishing. Still you know what I'm saying? Still not having producers. Still not going to the studio with split sheets and all kind of stuff. It's like how, how, mm-hmm. with, with, with all and, and you know. You didn't have Google and stuff back then, you know, when you guys were jumping out. So not saying that's necessarily an excuse, but like you said, you got age, you got lack of information. I'm. What do you think is the the problem now? But we still have guys coming up, signing crazy, crazy uh, uh, deals that make no sense. Like, why? Is it because they want to get on so bad? What do you think that is? Yeah, I mean, you, know, you got to understand wh- wh- where they, where they, um, you know, like where they come from and the circumstances that they is. It's like me. When I got signed to Rough Riders, I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? Right. Straight up and down. So that's why, um, you know, my paperwork was just straight, like, straight up and down. I was living in the street. And to prove that I was living in the street, the owner of Rough Riders, in front of I say, this is why I love him to this day, no matter what. That's how I know. Like, this is why my brain know how to separate family and love from business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because... Um, you know, I don't know no other record, um, you know, CEO doing this. But when I got signed on Rough Riders, I was homeless. And the owner of Rough Riders had to bring me in his house and let me live with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Straight right. now, I was sleeping on the street. Me and my cousin, he took me and my cousin in. And he didn't know us from a hole in the wall. All he knew was this little dark skin little nigga right here, he's talented. Right. And I believe in him. And... He's fucked up right now. He's in a tight spot. He don't got nobody to support him. He don't got nothing. And I'm a hold him. And I was blessed to come across a dude that was that that had the right intentions. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, everybody might not be blessed that way. And then they are, you know what I'm saying, you know, pressed to get on because of their situation. They might got to get on. Like right. you saw on Chanze. Like you saw on Chanze. I mean, you know, like it's artists that's in the game right now. That 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 if they didn't get on, they might have been dead. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Straight them down. I mean, you know, it's, it's it's a few artists that come from that life. You know what I'm saying? And then there's artists out there that just talk about it and never really been through it. You know what I mean? But the ones that really been through it, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, um, you know, and the ones that really have serious serious talent, you know what I'm saying? Usually be the ones that come from that that rough tough background and those are the ones if you pay attention be the ones that be saying that their paperwork wasn't straight wasn't this wasn't that because they had to get on right you know what i'm saying and they hoping and thinking you know i'm seeing whoever they signing to is a good person like they are 
You know what I'm saying? You know, trying to make it like they are. You know what I'm saying? You know, trying to make an honest buck like they are. You know right. Because niggas could be selling drugs. Right. Not niggas is in the studio making music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, great. Straight up, and still going through the same grimy shit that niggas go through on the street. That's crazy. Like selling drugs. Right. Right. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, like that's just what it be. It be, it be, it be the circumstances that the artists be in. You know, at that time when they about to get signed. You know what I'm saying? Because I know at that time when I was had to get signed, like I had to get signed, homie. You know what I'm saying? For right, real. Right. So like no matter what, I might have would have had my my um, you know, my Mel Small signature written down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like straight and down. I mean, you know, long as it ain't no motherfucking gay shit, let's get it. <laughs> you know, uh, and that, you know, no disrespect to the gays or nothing like that, but you know, I'm not. Right. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? As long as it ain't that. Hey, it's a goal. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So, you know, that's where my mind frame was at when I was homeless trying to get on. Exactly. Period. You know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 it's weird. It's funny, you, you know... It's nowadays. It's funny that you felt like you had to uh, you had to say that because you know I remember back. You you come from an era where, you know, what I'm saying you know there was no apologies about anything like that. But now so much has changed. You know what I'm saying as far as political correctness and yeah, everything. Yeah, because I mean you know, you know I don't want to offend nobody. I mean I mean at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying I've worked I've worked with, um you know, with um you know like with a few gays like you know what I'm saying you know I've heard um you know I've had stylists and stuff like that. You know what I'm right. saying you know the, um you know like. When, when 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 the Rough Riders, uh, you know, um, first started, uh, you know, like their stylus was like, you know, what I'm saying, you know, was gay too, you know what I'm saying? Right. And you know, we loved, him, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, very respectful. And guess what? He kept us funky fresh. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So <laughs> hey, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying, you know, like when I got signed, you know, like that's, you know, what I'm saying, you know, I'm uh, I, I, as long as there wasn't no ever shit, hey. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of artists be signing to crazy deals. Right, you know right. They exactly. trying to get on. Exactly, man. <laughs> For real. It's it'd be time to eat sometimes, man. I mean, if you're homeless, you know what I'm saying? Your options are limited. And you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's all about trying to get yourself in the position to win. All right. K100 Radio, we live right now with the homie Drag On. Rough Riders in the building representing, man. I see my homie Kelby with making the magazine. He's checking in. What's going on, homie? All right, we're going to jump into this music. You dig? Yeah. Uh huh. You are tuned to the K100 yeah. Radio, hip-hop, and R&B. Right. K100, you bastards. K100, you bastards. All right. We got this joint called Choke'em, right? And, um, and, and yes, you know, bars. You, you talked earlier when we first jumped on to this interview. You know, you was like, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm still giving these guys these bars. I'm still spitting bars. You know, we, we still, we're in an era right now where, frankly, you know, people don't put as much stock into it. People don't really care. You know, people say, ah, oh, that don't sell anymore. Nobody cares about lyrics, blah, 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 and all that bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. That's what you don't like. A lot of us still love that shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, you still bringing the heat, man, as far as the bars. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this joint called Choker, man. Tell me about this joint, because uh, and the people that's watching on Facebook Live, you guys are going to be able to see the video, but tell me about this Chokem joint that we got right here, Drac. Yeah, you know, like the Chokem record, you know, like how that came about, how I came up with that name is because right before that freestyle, I had dropped another freestyle right before that called Foot on their Neck. Right. And that really touched the street real hard, you know what I'm saying? You know, it did about like three, four million views and stuff like that on my Facebook fan page. You know what I'm saying? You know, it did great. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, you know, a lot of blogs blogged about it and stuff like that. So, you know, I did this next joint. I said, all right, um, you know, once you got your foot on their neck, it's like you ain't going to do nothing else but choke them. So, you know, like this joint right here, plus the content, what I was saying, I knew it was going to have, um, you know, a lot of rappers choked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and just a lot of different people just like, Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he just say that? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because right. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm cut from the cloth where you have to say shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't just ride the beat and, and you know what I'm saying? So uh, you know, uh, you know, I know a lot of people are not doing that right now. Uh huh. So I knew that would choke them up right quick. Like you know what I'm saying? Because nobody's doing that. It's like you could just listen to music just to. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, you could be, motherfucker, uh, you know, pissy drunk listening to this music right now. Right. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? But this one right here, um, you know, like, I knew it was going to choke him up. Like, word, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, I come from an era where we take our time and we write our rhymes. All right. 
Let's check this joint out right here. K100 Radio, we live right now, man. Rough Riders in the building, man. Make sure if, you, if the if the tour comes to your city and you love that music, you feel me? You go pull up on the homie, man. Drag on the army and, and the crew, man. Go and check that out, man. I love to see that show for real, for real. But this joint right here, we're going to run this choke'em joint right here on K100 Radio right now, man. You guys check this joint out. You dig? You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B. Get shot, it's not footage I got a nigga with one arm tried to block a bullet I used to weigh about a buck twenty So I kept a fully case I had to pluck a bullet And who the fuck is these new niggas? Couldn't quote a biggie line if they knew the nigga Couldn't quote a pot line but they thug life They bitch tell them what to do, they got a thug wife I see my comeback putting fear in niggas I sneeze around them cause I'm allergic to weird niggas They say I still got a glow about me Still a lot of people that don't know about me Nigga, this drag Them rappers dressing up as women, that's a different drag Any beef, we find out where they living at Where they mama stay at, where they women at They hated out the gate, but I'm at the top They at the bottom, so I should be out they way My coupe make niggas wanna race My blunts make niggas wanna eighth My eighth make them wanna ounce My ounce make them wanna pound My pound make everybody get out on the fucking ground I need everything This bullets in this shit is making this shit heavy, man Don't make me make it lighter My bars got tighter Y'all better give me a call if y'all need a writer Cause y'all trash So I went and bought a real big garbage bag So I can fill it with niggas that can't hardly rap Now how hard is that? When you know a nigga serious as a heart attack You don't want no parts of that? They back spitting bars I started that Niggas with felonies I only target that Busting your bitch mouth, she goggled that. Now nah, her teeth got protein, got that sparkle back. I ain't playing with you garbage niggas. Shout out to CT, them homicide half niggas. Shout out to BX, nigga, I got you. Show them how Bronx, nigga, hostile. Huh? You know, right quick, just with some bars, right quick. The homie drag on. You feel me? Drop that joint, man. You feel me? 347 934 0966. That is the number to dial into the show, man. We live right now, man. Rough Riders is in the building, man. Drag on is in the building, man. Shout out to him, man. So, um, right now, man, tell me what you got going on as far as your label. Are you, are you planning on signing any artists? You have any artists signed? You know what I'm saying? Are you going to be putting out some music yourself? Uh, what's going on with the label? Yeah, um, I have two artists signed. Um, you know, uh, you know, um, Miss Brandy Wine and Miss Louise and Miss Louisiana Red. Um, you know, like you gonna hit them as soon as I get this shit in perspective. You know, what I'm saying, you know, my main thing is making sure that this music, um, um, you know, and this record label is on that platform. So when I do decide to actually like. Like uh, you know, drop something, um, um, you know, like drop an artist and start pushing and promoting the artist. And I'm saying, you know, the record label has legs to stand on. So that's what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying, you know, every week, every two weeks, we putting out new music, new videos. You know what I'm saying? For real, like we not playing with it. You know what I'm saying? Straight it down. Um, you know, oh, and this Monday, I got a new joint coming out. You know what I'm saying? You know, new video dropping on hoodenvironment.com. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's going to be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You know, World Star and all that. But definitely log on Odevironment.com. Straight up. The name of the record is called I Don't Care. And, you right. know, we going in, man. Like, you know what I mean? For real, we working. Absolutely. Well, I got it. And um, right now on Facebook Live, I see a couple of people that I know that are rocking with me that's watching. 
Uh, I see one of my homies said Wines. He's a producer. How 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 would how do how would a producer go about getting you some tracks, dog? If they want to see you something for some new music that you're rocking out to, how would somebody get you some music as far as producers? Yeah, um, you know, you know, I run all my social medias. Anybody can definitely hit me up on my social medias. Um, you know, my Instagram is drag underscore on one. Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Also, um, you know, my booking is is booking at hoodenvironment.com. I'm saying, you know, you can also send beats there. Um, you know, I have somebody always checking that joint. So, you know, that's booking at hoodenvironment.com. If you forget that, go on my Instagram, drag underscore on one. All the information right there, how to contact me, get right to me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. We get to it. We live in the studio. We in the studio all day, 24-7. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, we always looking for new work. You know what I mean? So hit me up. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. I got a call on the line real quick. Let me take it real quick. 770-255. Welcome to K100 Radio. Who's this? What's going on, Blizzard? The said Wines on the line, man. What's poppin'? Oh, what's going on, man? Thank you for calling in. What's happening? You want to holler at the homie drag real quick? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, man. Definitely drag, man. That that joint that you that you that he just played, man. That, that joint hot, man. I remember I was I was I had looked at a video that you did. Um, that you did like the remix to the uh, the designer joint and uh, the panda joint. That joint was hot too, and it was funny. But last night at work, I was watching Cradle to the Grave where you and when you and X was in. You know what I'm saying? I said, man. I said, man. What you know? Man, I wanted to drag. Got some new music, and sure enough, you know what I'm saying? I'm calling in. And you got some new joints out, man, and stuff like that. So, man, you always been dope, man. I'm, I'm glad you're back on the scene, man, to spend some real shit. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, yo, bro, listen, you know, I really appreciate that, man. Hell yeah, for real. Word up, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah, now, I'm a producer as well, man, so I definitely want to try to shoot you some of my material, man. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, you know, so you know, so you can listen to what I got, man, and, you know, maybe you can jump on something. Definitely. Yeah, no doubt. Send it in, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know, any song, every any and every song I record, I shoot the video to them too. So I mean, you know, send it in, man. I'm seeing we working. Absolutely, up, let's get it. No, no doubt. I go to your, I know you put your Instagram, so I go to your Instagram and get all your information. I see some joints, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, go to my Instagram, or you can go to my email, or you know, the booking at hoodenvironment.com. Or you can go right to my Instagram. And I'm seeing I highlight people back, and I'm seeing I ain't one of them stuck up niggas and all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you right. know, on my Instagram, I follow over 6,500 people back. You know what I'm saying? I love my fans, so um, you know I love my support. Any, you know what I'm saying? So it's all good. I, no. like, like, I mean, hit me up. You know what I mean? I don't got nobody running my page. It's me. Well, you know what I'm saying? I do got a little program that be running around pressing like for me. But, you know, <laughs> I pretty much run my own pro, my my, my own my own my own page. So hit me up, bro. You're already on here. No, no doubt, no doubt, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Definitely, man. Keep doing spitting that fire, man. Appreciate you, man. Shout out to Blizzard, man. K100 Radio. All right, bro. Thank yeah, you for calling in, man. Big ups. Big up. On a person, on a person to know Dragon. I'm not saying that because he called my show. I, I wouldn't front. I actually know that dude. That dude is nice. That dude production and man, I could just, just because I know his production and I know what kind of beats he make. You on one of them? Ugh. I'd love to hear that someday. I hope that happens. Uh, whew, that, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's yeah. dumb nice. He's, he's, that's, that's, he's dumb hey, nice. My dude, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for it. Let's get it. <laughs> right. All right. So, uh, I'm looking for it. I, I'd, love, I'd love for that to happen. And I'm taking credit for, for I'm going to say, hey, man, that shit happened. That, we made that magic happen on K100. Yeah. All right. Uh, but if that happens, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for real. All right, man. So we get ready to get up out of here, man. I want to hold you up, bro. Uh, I appreciate you, man, for rocking rock out with us over here at K100 Radio, man. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave you, and uh, I know you got a busy schedule and you got a lot going on, bro. So any parting words you want to leave the people before we ride out? Somebody's looking through our vehicle, taking pictures. Yeah. Oh, sound like talking to me. Oh, yeah? Oh, you're talking to somebody. Come okay, on. I'm going down there right now. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you so much. All right. Well, Hello? Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> no, it's all good. I, I, I know we we, we, we we on the back of our time anyway, so it's time for me to let you go. I was like, he's got 30 minutes. That's all he got. All right, cool. But uh, I said, any parting words before you before we go? You want to tell the people before we get out of here? Log on to hoodenvironment.com. Follow me on Instagram. Drag underscore on one. Your boy back. Look, those that are YouTube fans, definitely go to Fireman Drag, all one word. Log on. I'm here. I'm on deck. Absolutely, up, man. Let's get it. All right, man. I appreciate your time, homie. For real. We get ready to go. Uh, we definitely going to ride with you, man. And um, I appreciate it, man. We'll definitely push whatever you got coming out, Drag. Thanks for uh, 
pulling up on us over here at K100 Radio, dog. Appreciate that, all right? Yes, sir. No doubt. For sure. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, so that's that. But before we go, uh, I'll tell my Facebook people, if you're over here still chilling with me watching on uh, Facebook, I actually got uh, one more video uh, by the homie Drag. Uh, we got that uh, emoji video, and I'm going to run that one, and that's how we're going to end this Facebook live feed. And uh, make sure you rock with us over here at K100 Radio, man. Thanks, everybody, for rocking with us, man. Instagram Live people who was over here checking in, I appreciate you guys for rocking out with us, man. Uh, we're getting ready to log off. But if you're on the Facebook if you're on the Facebook page, uh, you'll be able to check out uh, after we run this ad right quick. You know what I'm saying? We'll be able to um, check out this other video uh, that Drag got, which was um, the uh, emoji video, which, I, which is another joint that he did recently uh, that I thought was dope. So I'll leave you guys with that, all right? I appreciate you for rocking with us over here at K100 Radio, man. We're getting ready to sign off right now, and we'll holler, man. Direct line interviews, make sure you rock with us at K100 underscore radio on Twitter and Instagram. And please subscribe to the um, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on uh, Instagram Live, all right? We out. <laughs> Hang around for the video if you're on Facebook Live. You dig? Do you want to be officially bossed up? Submit your info to BTMB Magazine PR at gmail.com. Get featured in the fastest growing lifestyle magazine catering to the underground and the well-known. BTMB always delivers the latest entertainment news. Catch up on your favorite entertainer, fashion designer, singer, rapper, actor, or community hero. Bosses That Meet Bosses wants to shed positive light on your story. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at BTMB Magazine. To purchase your copy, visit madcloud.com forward slash browse forward slash BTMB Magazine. Bosses That Meet Bosses is where your story lives. Yeah.